Welcome, Gemini, to the channel. It's Robin here with Aries Fire Tarot. Thanks for tuning in, guys. So um, it's time for your monthly star guide reading. So I find this is a really, um, like, really intuitively driven message from your guides. I'm going to channel your star guides, your angels, you know, earth angels, just anybody who has been assigned to you to... Uh, guide you along your your life path. So I hope this is a good read. It's going to be a six card reading. It's general though, guys. So please keep that in mind. I hope you enjoy and I hope it does resonate. Give me a shout out in the comments what you think and um, remember to like, share and subs subscribe, guys. I really appreciate that. So just, um, I'm not sure if I mentioned I'm using the Starman Tarot card deck to do this reading for you. So I'm just going to shuffle a couple more times and we'll jump right in. That's basically my style. I don't want to waste a whole bunch of your time listening to the tarot card reader talk and talk and talk. So the first card we're going to look at is going to depict your present situation. So let me do one more shuffle here. And let's pull that card. So your present situation is the justice card. So many of you could be awaiting some sort of decision. Um... And it's going to be a pivotal decision. You know, what's happening with finances? What's happening with the job? You know, what's happening with home life? And I'm getting this card for you as a message from your guides that everything is going to be okay. So when we see this card, it's always an indication that the decision is going to be made in your benefit. So that's a nice card to start your reading off with. So if there's any cause of any causes of conflict, that's going to appear in the second card here for you guys. So let's have a look at that for you. Got the Four of Cups. So the Four of Cups, it kind of, kind of is like being lost in thought a little bit, and there could be a solution available to you that you don't have to wait for other people to weigh in on. You know, you you could be missing some sort of detail. There's there's sometimes, and I'm seeing for some of you, it could be a contract, a missed conversation that could help you resolve a situation here. The Four of Cups really talks about missing an opportunity. So you, you might have something actually in your possession, um, and for some of you in your emails, that could help speed this decision, this justice, along so you might want to give that a little bit of thought you know because i think what is happening here is the stress surrounding this decision is sort of blocking your creative memory from coming in and helping you find a really good resolution here because you can help a little bit more i'm really getting the sensation that many of you look what i'm doing to these cards right now i'm trying to shuffle um <clears throat> You feel helpless, but you're not helpless. So you have to step outside of that a little bit and kind of look at, you know, do I have all the all the information that I need to give? Because there's more. And I think you guys, if you would just like sort of breathe and not like not with your head down, like don't give in to this feeling of being victimized. Um, sit down with an intention to reveal any more detail that is necessary in order to resolve a situation that's going on. So the third card is the change is needed in order to face this challenge. So I have the five of swords here. <laughs> Yikes. Okay, so it looks like some of you could be like reacting outwardly and maybe taking out your anger on other people or accusing other people. And it's all sort of a, a product of feeling possibly victimized or misaligned, like backed into a corner pretty much, right? So um, we kind of really need to stop reflecting that out on others. <clears throat> I get the sensation here that you guys have been, like I said before, misaligned, like somebody is seeing something a little bit dark, like somebody is kind of, they don't have your best interest at heart here. 
but that doesn't mean that that's going to be everybody, right? There's still people in your life that you can trust and you don't want to sort of run them away um, by mistakenly um, directing negative energy towards them. So that could really, really help you too because right now you need people in your corner. You don't need to chase them all away because you're feeling stressed out about um, what's going on and it could be a legal thing for some of you guys. Um, so really remember who is actually in your corner and treat them accordingly, right? And if you're stressed and upset, I'm seeing here that you might owe a couple people an apology. So look at that, guys. So the fourth card is going to represent your strengths. And we have the Six of Swords here. So this is a really great card it's to remember that what is happening right now, even if it's wildly uncomfortable, it's not forever it's just a moment in time and you have the strength to move forward with your head held up and know that everything's going to resolve so you can go from the five of swords which is not not a pleasant sight into the six of swords but it's going to have to take a little bit of energy from yourself um, to direct yourself a little bit more of a positive path and then move forward. And this is a really cool six of swords because it's like everything, the energy is going up. You've got a, a speaker sort of going in the background. So you can't, maybe music would be really uplifting for you guys too. Um, like don't forget about the things that lift you up. And um, music is very, very like, it's appealing to help you through any sort of struggle that you might be having. So. Let's have a look at your other challenges. So you have the chariot card. So that is your biggest challenge. You want things to move faster. Um, you're ready to move forward. You're really done with it, you know, but sometimes you have to wait for other people. You have to wait for sort of the stars to align around you. You don't have power over timing. So you'll just have to bide your time and in the most positive way possible and wait for this energy to come in and I think the only thing that you can do to help speed that along is to really just take care of your own energy, you know, and do that, like listening to the music or like doing some dancing or, you know, the yoga or meditation that I talk about all the time is very, very helpful to keep you, I call it Zen, like I call it like my Zen routine, right? Like what keeps you sane, basically, like what keeps you level and able to like, okay, strap on the Kevlar and like face another day, right? So your outcome, this is a beautiful card here, you guys. You're gonna remember who you are. So I'm, I'm seeing this as sort of a, um, like a universal test for you. I really think that there's something on the other side that you could be forgetting about, like some sort of goal in order to put all your energy into defending yourself, but you don't have to because you're already winning in this situation. So remember who you are, guys. Remember what your goals are. Don't ever lose sight of your goals because all this um, negativity can really drain you and sort of lead you astray from what it is that you're actually trying to accomplish. Um, so really dig deep into yourself right now. It could be a really challenging period for you. I'm not saying that it isn't, but spend your energy wisely, guys. Um, like when you start going down this road of like, oh, I just can't take this anymore. You know, you're having those thoughts and like, why isn't anybody helping me? You know, you're really just gonna have to calm that down so you can get that energy changing and moving you forward where you wanna be. So look at your core strengths and who you really are. Like, remember who you are and bring that to the table every day, you know? And like, I'm not saying that you're not gonna ever have moments of thoughts where, you know, it's very frustrating, granted, but you know, give that a marginal um, amount of your energy, not the lion's share of your energy. Save the lion's share of your strength for yourself and your ultimate purpose. And remember that guys. And do whatever you can to protect that energy for yourself so you can move forward to a really strong outcome. So guys, I hope this was a helpful read. You can let me know in the comments and I'll see you back here another time. Bye. Bye.